right, hey there. I just finished this workout. Um, just to get you up to speed, yesterday I went for a run. Um, kind of got a little bit of a running bug. And um, so yeah, that was fun. Just kind of did um, some intervals. And so, sorry I didn't have a breakdown for you. Um, I've got a great workout for you today. And um, yeah, right now I'm missing my partners in crime. Um, Seth is on the mountain. Um, snowboarding with his brother, and um, Eva is having time with her grandma Tina in the living room, so I can um, be able to get this done, although it's hard without my my teammates. Um, we're really excited. Um, uh, Eva's three months old. Um, she was born on the 19th, and yesterday was the 19th, so we had our three-month photo shoot yesterday, and that was awesome. Um, so yeah. Got a great workout for you. Um, it's going to be four moves, 50 seconds of sweat, and 10 seconds of transition. And um, you're going to need some equipment. You can do it without equipment um, if you just kind of want to get through the motions um, or just want to take it a little lighter. So the first move is a forward lunge and squat with weight on your shoulders. Again, you can do this without weight if you like. You can do free weights. Um, I'm going to be using um, a sandbag. And so what you're going to be doing is holding the weight right here. And you're going to go into a forward squat and then squat. Alternate, forward squat, squat, forward squat, squat, or without, which you can actually go a little bit faster. Um, again, you're always trying to go to your max, no matter what, to move the multiple muscle groups and get that cardio in. All right, the second move is two burpees and two jump squats. Um, that's one that I do if I'm just kind of doing going for reps and not time. Since we're going for time, 50 seconds, I recommend going from a burpee to two jump squats. So here you go. You're gonna go down to a burpee and squat jump, squat jump. That counts as one rep. Two reps. You get the picture. The third move is a push up to a side dip. So, just like what it says, you're going to go into a push up position and push up, turn to your side, and dip. Push up, weight on your shoulders, whoop, <laughs> and dip. So, each one is considered one rep. That would be my third. And my fourth. Okay, if those, um, if you're not quite there to do a full push up yet, um, you can go on your knees. That's absolutely fine. So you're going to go one, two. Or you could go one and then leg raise. What we're trying to do is engage our obliques. Okay, so the last move is a um, clean and squat. So you can use these with um, dumbbells. I'm going to be using the sandbag again. I like the sandbag. I'm sure I've mentioned it before because the sand shifts and so it's requiring your muscles to stabilize constantly as that's shifting. So, clean and squat. So, almost kind of like a deadlift, nice straight back when you're bending. So, and press. Clean it, and press it. Side view. Clean, and press. So those are the moves, and um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions on future workouts, um, or if you need a little bit um, of an explanation on what I'm doing, 
that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to put in one more round just for the fun of it. <laughs> i got a little time before I have to nurse the little ones, so have fun. Enjoy your three-day weekend. If you don't have a three-day weekend off, then just make every 15 to 30 minutes count because that's all it takes to really get in shape and stay in shape. Um, what can I say? I'm three months postpartum and it's whipping my butt, so all right, have fun.